the denominators of the given fractions. Looking at our first example, we have the square root of y over 45, or y divided by 45, which equals the square root of the numerator over or divided by the square root of the denominator. In this form, because the square root of 45 does not simplify perfectly, the denominator is irrational. To rationalize the denominator of a fraction, we multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction by a radical that will clear the radical from the denominator. So even though the square root of 45 does not simplify perfectly, it does simplify because 45 contains the perfect square factor of nine. To show this, let's look at the prime factorization of 45. 45 is equal to nine times five, five is prime, and nine is equal to three times three, which is the reason why nine is a perfect square factor of 45. So to show some work, let's write this as the square root of y, over the square root of three times three times five. So again, the square root of three times three, or the square root of three squared, would simplify to one factor of three. But because we have one factor of five, so under the square root, the denominator is still irrational. In order for the denominator to simplify perfectly, notice how we would need two factors of five under the square root, and therefore to rationalize the denominator, we will multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of five. Now let's multiply. The numerator would be the square root of y times the square root of five, which is the square root of five y. The denominator would now be the square root of two factors of three and two factors of five. So because we have two factors of three and two factors of five, the denominator is now going to simplify perfectly and will be rational. So simplifying, we have the square root of five y over the square root of three squared is equal to one factor of three, the square root of five squared is equal to one factor of five. So now we have the square root of five y over 15 and the denominator is now rational. Let's look at our second example. We have the square root of two over x cubed, or two divided by x cubed, which is equal to the square root of two over the square root of x cubed. Notice how the denominator does not simplify perfectly, and therefore it's irrational, though it does simplify because x cubed contains a perfect square factor of x squared. Let's go ahead and expand the factors of x cubed and write this as the square root of two over the square root of x times x times x. And the square root of x times x or the square root of x squared does simplify, but we're still left with one factor of x under the square root. In order for the denominator to simplify perfectly, notice how we need one more factor of x underneath the square root. And therefore, to rationalize the denominator, we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of x. Now we multiply. In the numerator, we have the square root of two times the square root of x, which is the square root of two x. In the denominator, now we have the square root of one, two, three, four factors of x. So x squared is a perfect square here, as well as here. So now the denominator is going to simplify perfectly. We have the square root of two x over the square root of x times x, so the square root of x squared here simplifies to one factor of x. And the same thing here, the square root of x times x or the square root of x squared simplifies to another factor of x. So we have the square root of two x over or divided by x squared. And now the denominator is rationalized. I hope you found this helpful.